Dutch Sense here. 9.33 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, January 17th, 2013. And I've got you over here on the Assumption Louisiana YouTube page. They've been covering the flyovers at Bayou Corn for the last several months. Now, the last flyover they did was on December 27th. I'm going to put a link down below to the previous flyovers so you can see how things have progressed. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that right now. Let me take you over here to the first flyover. Okay. And here we go. This is the work pad where they've been working from. And there's the sinkhole. All right, let me go ahead and blow this up so you can really see it. All right, work pad, grass around it. And let's bring it forward again. We'll pause it. There's the sinkhole as it started. And you can see the grassy areas going over here to the fields and the woods around the area, but the sinkhole itself right here. Okay? So that kind of shows you how it started back in August. Now, let's go over to the latest flyover. And full screen it as well and make it HD. And then you begin to get an idea of what's going on here. And once it gets over the actual work site, okay, the original sinkhole was roughly about as big as the area that I'm moving my mouse around right now. Now you can see the water has stretched over all the way over here to the work tanks and then all the way back here to the field. Even beyond the field, you can see the reflection of water now beginning to form over here in the next clearing. And it extends all the way over here beyond this lake. You can see the edge of it over here. So we're looking at an area roughly a few miles across now. If you incorporate all these other areas that are definitely showing water buildup and sinking. So this pad here that they've been working from is sinking. For sure, 100%, the water is coming up right up to the edges of it now. And they've had to move back. Okay? So I hope this kind of sums it up for you guys. I'm going to put a link down below to the original video. All of our original concerns have been confirmed. So the area has spread, oil has come out, it's collapsed further, and there's more butane domes and other salt domes filled with other substances in the nearby vicinity. The area itself is collapsing and there's no stopping it. Okay. So you can see again, the size of this is tremendous. And we'll just play this all the way through to the end now. It really has become a huge, huge problem and continues to grow. Now you can see the houses over here, all right? The sinkhole itself is spreading back here into the woods. You can't actually make out where it ends. I would say it ends somewhere back here uh, by the second row of trees if you can see the clearing. There's nothing stopping it from going all the way over to these houses. All right, and there's our work site area. And you can see the water coming right up here to the edges. And before, of course, it was just confined to this area here where my mouse is. Now there's been a lot of rain recently, which explains the muddy texture to the water and the lack of a sheen because, of course, the oil has been washed away and let me bring it back here to the start of the frame here. Okay, the water has actually been pushed off the sinkhole down here to the river. So all this oily runoff has gone directly into the river. They're not stopping it. We have video footage of it going directly into the river. So there's no doubt about it that the environment is being damaged by this. Okay, and people have been able to pull their boats right up to this region here. And there's some shots on YouTube of that. I encourage you guys to go look up Bayou Corn and you will find these videos, okay? So hang in there, folks. Much love. And if we get any more flyover videos, I will definitely make you aware of them. If you go over to my YouTube page, and I'll put a link down below to that, you just click on Bayou Corn flyovers, and I've got them listed here chronologically from uh, the oldest to the newest. Okay? Hang in there, folks. Much love. Be safe.